Hi, my name is Jesse Collins with Pyramid Educational Consultants, and I just wanted to share a simple idea for a little craft that you could do at home and create some communication and learning opportunities. So let me show you what you need first. Paper, you can either just use computer paper or construction paper, either would be fine. Obviously, paper would give you a chance to have your kid ask for different colors, um, so that could be kind of fun. Um, the other thing that you need are some marshmallows. So I was actually able to put these on my pickup grocery order. Um, these were the big size marshmallows, um, and then these are the miniature or the small ones. And so you don't need to have both, but what this does give you the opportunity for is having the kids request big versus small. Um, it's really nice to open up the bag of marshmallows overnight or even for like a day and let them kind of get a little bit harder um, because then they're a little bit easier to paint with. But make sure you save a few out because I'm sure your kid may want to eat um, one or two during this lesson. The next thing you need is some type of paint. Um, I just made my own palette out of a folded piece of, of computer paper. So you don't need anything fancy, a paper plate or anything you could wash off would be great. Um, washable paint is a great idea um, if you're doing this at home, just in case it gets a little messy. And then I did put some file folders down so the table didn't get dirty. Um, and then you have kind of two different options here. You could just let your kids request a piece of paper and um, you could have them ask for the different types of paint and then essentially also have you ask for the marshmallow. And what we're kind of mimicking is pointillism, which is a style of art. And um, so kind of making the dots. So if you just let the kids kind of use the marshmallow, you can see that's kind of what the big size looks like. Um, and again, they could request different sizes. And here is what the small size looks like. And you could just let them kind of go wild and make their own creative pattern. Um, and they could request the marshmallows in different colors of paint. The other thing you could do is either print, um, grab a coloring book if you have one around, or if you happen to have a printer at home and your kid likes a certain character, like um, the Minions or something, you could print off a, a blank page and they could actually fill in the lines with that. Um, or just get some paper. I actually just did a really simple flowers. Um, I just took a Sharpie and I drew these with some black lines. And then this gives your kids a little bit more of a pattern to be able to paint in. So if you kind of could look here, um, again, they could request different colors and just kind of dab it off. And then they could um, paint in their marshmallow and do it with different sizes. Uh, just like that. So I will post with this a uh, lesson plan with some different learning opportunities as well as the materials written down. And on our PACS Facebook page, um, our, our user support group, we would love to see if you um, have any finished results or any great um, projects that you are doing with your kiddo while you're at home. So hope you're all staying safe. We're thinking of you all and um, have some fun with some marshmallows and some paint.